All right, welcome to Learning Plan 4B. We're going to be covering Chapter 6, a, a continuation of reflecting skills. So make sure you read the chapter, and your assignments will be the discussion board and a journal starter. So let's jump in. All right, so last time we talked a little bit about reflections and reflecting skills and paraphrasing. Um, and so this is kind of more in-depth um, discussion about what reflecting skills are and how they're beneficial. Um, reflecting feelings, so we're getting into more complex reflecting skills. Um, so whenever you can reflect an emotion that the client seems to be portraying, um, that's very helpful for the client. Um, it it kind of it makes them feel like you're engaged in the conversation as well. Um, you know, I'll tell you that reflecting seems very counterintuitive at first until you get used to it uh, because you feel kind of silly repeating back what the client has basically just told you um, you you're not you're not repeating exactly word for word what the clients telling you but you're you're relaying your understanding of what they're telling you and so it does seem a little counterintuitive at first when you start doing it seems a little different, but um, once you get the hang of it and you start using it, practicing with it, um, you'll see that it opens up a lot of different doors to really dive deep into issues with people and um, really get at their beliefs and values, which is what we want to, um, I guess, learn about from our clients, depending upon what, what challenges they're facing and why they're coming to see us. All right, and so you're going to be discussing feeling words and emotions, and there's a handout below here that that um, describes that as well. All right, so PowerPoint for Chapter 6, and here's a handout on check your feelings. So you just click on that, and it takes you directly to the link where this, this um, PDF is located called Check Your Feelings. So these are used quite a bit in especially group settings. If you ever do any AODA groups or cognitive-based groups, um, we do check-ins at the beginning of each group. So each person gets um, a five minutes block to kind of talk about what's going on with them. We try to get people to use the feeling words, emotion or emotional words. Um, it's not necessarily a given that just because they can relate how they're feeling is going to change things, but at least they can identify and make themselves more aware of, of what their feelings are. So there's a couple different areas here. Physically, I feel, and then there are several action words that um, are associated with that, mentally and emotionally. So you know what, this would be a good tool to use in your transcripts when you're meeting with your client. And if you notice a particular emotion the client is is displaying, you can definitely use this this um, worksheet and have them you know, present it to the client and say, tell me how you're feeling in each of these categories. That's going to give you some good insight into where they're at mentally, physically, and emotionally. And that may give you a... Um, an idea of where to go with the conversation too if it gets stuck. All right, so it's a it's a great tool to have. All right, so then we have the journal starter for this week. Please make sure that you respond appropriately with either choosing one, two, or three. And pay attention to how many how many paragraphs for each one. Um, and hopefully you're gaining some insight into your your own thoughts, feelings, and beliefs about certain aspects of being a help, being a helper. Um, some of these journal entries are designed to kind of put you in the place of the client and and help you kind of see you from their perspective. Some of you might have experience being a client with uh, with a helper in different um, in different environments. So um, hopefully this is beneficial for you. And then we have the Learning Plan 4B discussion board, so make sure you're following that. Make sure you're posting throughout the week that the Learning Plan is open. Make sure you're responding to everyone that has responded to your initial post. Make sure you're having discussions with other um, peers and using the techniques that are listed in the grading rubric. Um, we don't want to just um, have a conversation just to have a conversation. Hopefully some good dialogue gets going and... and We'll see what happens. So, 
hopefully by now you've gained some insight into reflections and paraphrasing and you've been kind of practicing practicing them in your personal life feel free to do that um, it's a great way to kind of give you a confidence for when you do your next transcript all right so i will see you on learning plan 4c